guys so this is my second video um i wanted to talk about bath and body works okay i feel like such a hater but you know what i don't care like this is just my opinion so um mm, okay where do i begin so i was very excited about bath and body works but um we're actually going to boycott it this year because, um, I simply just didn't like any of their stuff. Um, that's a lie though. We did get a few things like a long time ago. I want to say like two months ago, we got like, um, we needed some hand soap. So we got some hand soap and then we also got a few, um, little plug-in, you know, little scented things, the wildflowers, I think that's what it's called. We got some of those. Um, and we're excited for their Halloween launch. Um, so we went straight to the Halloween section because I wanted to see what they came up. You guys, they had the same exact thing as last year. Okay. And I wasn't even ex literally the same exact thing. Like I thought they were, they were going to come up with something new. So last year I actually did get a lot of their Halloween products because I wanted to try them. And I was so disappointed. Um, so they have only three Halloween um, products. So they have Vampire Blood, which straight up smells like the flattest strawberry ever. I was like, like, who's doing this? I don't know. A lot of stuff stink. A lot of stuff stink in in the store like there was like genuinely a lot of things that we were like oh my god this is this just, just stinks um but vampire blood i feel like a lot of it is just about the packaging and they didn't actually make anything smell good but vampire blood was like just the lightest flattest strawberry smell then they also had pumpkin carvings i believe and that one actually did smell kind of good um but we didn't get it and then they also got oh my gosh which other one did, do they have they have um which one girlfriend which is like a purple that one smells a, a little bit like candy and but like very light like these candles smell very very light it's not like the usual bath and body um candles like they're just so underwhelming and they do have a lot of like cool candle holders. They do have a lot of like, <sighs> they do have cool autumn things, which is fine. But um, I don't know, they have like cute keychains, stuff like that, right? Like uh, san uh, the sanitizer holders, um, those were kind of cute, but I just felt like it's so underwhelming. Um, I don't know who's up there at Bath and Body Works, but I was not feeling it this year. Um, we ended up getting just a few hand soaps, sweater weather, something lakes, and something else. It's just, I don't think it's worth, like, showing. Like, it's just, like, they smell good. Sweater weather, it's, like, a staple, I think, in the autumn. And also, um, the lakes. It's, like, this turquoise blue hand soap. And what else did we get? Um, I did get a vampire blood wallflower and I also got a pumpkin carving um, wallflower as well. The pumpkin carving smells really, really good. I will say that. That one's really good. But um, yeah, like I just, I went, we went again to check out their candles, but I wasn't vibing and I was just like, you know what? Like I'm not gonna force myself to shop here if I'm not like really, really happy with the products. So we ended up not getting any candles this year. We're just going to stick to using up the candles that we have at home. Um, which are not necessarily autumn based. But we we have our wallflowers which do a pretty good job at um, uh, making the place smell really, really good. So we're just going to use those. And yeah, that's all that I wanted to come on here to talk about. Because I don't know. I felt like the candles were so underwhelming for Halloween and usually like Halloween is such a like vibe for the autumn and usually 
you know, like you're excited for certain collections and stuff like that. But I just felt like it, they were such a ripoff, I think. I don't know, there was some other Halloween ones, I think. I think maybe like one more Halloween one. No, but I think there was only three Halloween stuff. And the packaging is, is, is what's like really attractive. But the actual scent of the candle... You guys, I could not smell anything. I mean, I could smell it, but it was just like so underwhelming. And no, I did not have nose fatigue because I went straight to that section both times. And they just so underwhelming. Like, I'm not going to pay for those candles. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. We did go to Lush, so I'll probably, I will probably make a video with my husband because he was like crazy about Lush. Um, Lush had, for the very first time, a really crazy cool Halloween um, uh, collection this year. Um, the UK usually doesn't do Halloween, so they usually never did Halloween collections or anything like that until this year um so that was really really cool and i can't wait to show you guys things that we got um there but that'll be another video i think um we only got a few items because we still do have a lot of lush items from the summer haul that i literally just did and i didn't want to like have too much of something that i barely used so um we only got like a few pieces and I'm super excited about them. But yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.